So you're looking to buy a house and you want to know the things that you can negotiate as a buyer to get the contract in your favor. Well, here's a comprehensive list of what we feel you can pull off as a buyer when it comes to negotiations. Hey everybody, it is Mark with the My Front Range Living Team and we are a team of full-time real estate agents here in Colorado Springs. And if you're thinking about buying a home, this is just a quick list of things that we know you can negotiate as a buyer during the process to get that contract on your side. The reason that this is such a big idea right now is we understand that buyers uh, over the last two or three years, of course, with the frenzy of buying and everything else, it's been a seller's market. And as that shifts back to a little bit of an equilibrium, right, where both sellers and buyers are well represented, we think it's important that you understand what you have on your side when it comes to buying power. So first and foremost, I want to make sure everybody understands, again, we are in Colorado Springs. Make sure that you're checking with your agent in your specific area and city to make sure that these are still applicable. But in the state of Colorado, here are some things. First and foremost, obviously the purchase price, right? You can negotiate the purchase price. I think you should take a look at days on market when you do that as to far as how, as far, as how da- far down you might want to go. Next up, earnest money. A lot of folks don't think about this, but I think that earnest money is something that you want to talk about when it comes to negotiations. So if they're asking, if the seller's asking for five thousand dollars and you say hey how about we give you three so you have a little extra cash to put down maybe you do that you can start there so earnest money is also something that you can negotiate here in the great state of colorado next up Closing costs. Now, closing costs may seem pretty obvious, but what closing costs means is closing costs from your lender, closing costs at the title company. There's a lot of different things that you can negotiate from a closing cost standpoint, and it's important as a buyer that you understand when you negotiate those closing costs what that money is going to. You want to make sure that your best interests are taken care of in that space. So as you look at closing costs and negotiating those, Make sure you know for sure what those closing costs are for, whether it be on the lending side, whether it be for a title company, or it could be for credits, which is the next thing we're going to talk about. That is closing cost credits or buy downs, uh, interest rate buy downs. Your closing costs could go towards those buy downs, or you could you know, negotiate the purchase price, negotiate closing costs, and get a rate buy down. Make sure that you're reaching out to your mortgage lender to find out exactly what that means for you and what options you have. But credits and buy downs are another thing you can negotiate as a buyer. And the next thing is pretty obvious, right? Inspection items. As you go into a home and you are doing the inspection with your inspector and your agent, you're looking for things that maybe the home needs. And it could be that the home seems to be just fine on inspection day, and that's great. Maybe you negotiate a home warranty. Now, home warranties are a fantastic way to make sure that you're protected as a buyer for at least the foreseeable year, right? So uh, inspection items and warranty uh, purchases are another thing that a buyer can negotiate during the process. Next up, inclusions and exclusions. So a lot of times what's gonna happen when you're looking at uh, listings, specifically on the multiple listing service, or any of the other platforms that you're searching for homes on, uh, you're going to see, hey, uh, maybe the the drapery isn't included, the window coverings aren't included, the the, the hot tub isn't included, the playset isn't included. If you want those as a buyer, you can actually negotiate those. Now, it's important to understand that a lot of lenders are not going to want that in the contract, so you may have to do some additional documentation, but that is something you can negotiate. Hey, I love this house, I love this view, and the hot tub out here on the deck really accentuates that view, so why not include the uh, hot tub? It's something that you as a buyer can negotiate in the spot. Or, on the other side of that, hey, Make sure that this playset is not in my backyard when I move in. You can include that in the contract or in the additional um, documentation as well. You can put something in or take something out as a buyer. It just depends on the negotiation that you have going there. And then last but certainly not least is closing and possession day. Um, Maybe the seller's looking to close a little earlier uh, so they have those resources to go buy their next home. That's fine. Uh, And then you can negotiate possession day, but you can negotiate the rents with them or what they're paying, or uh, you can just negotiate the entire process. I want to close earlier. I want to close later. I want to close on this day. So closing days and possession days is the last thing that we wanted to talk about in regards to uh, buyer negotiations. Hey, as always, we hope that you found this information helpful. Uh, It would mean the world if you went down below and clicked on that thumbs up and gave us a like on today's content. It would also mean a ton if you went down there, hit that bell, subscribe to the channel. We're putting out content every single week to help you make Colorado Springs feel like home. Hey, if you would like a link to our website, you can find that in the description down there uh, below. 
uh, myfrontrangeliving.com. We have all sorts of ways uh, for you to check out things, what's going on here in Colorado Springs, as well as search for homes in the area. Also, if you are specifically thinking about moving to Colorado Springs, in the description of the video, just above our website, you will see our relocation guide. That's yours. You can have that. It just gives you a better idea of some different areas here in Colorado Springs that may better fit your criteria as you think about that move. Hey, as always, we appreciate you stopping by and we look forward to seeing you soon. Have a great day.